<laughs> you cannot make this shit up. Every dog has his day. I shit you not. See this beautiful little creature? See that beautiful little doggy? Take a good look. Beautiful baby. It's going to be a little tough. But that little pit bull got cancer. And it needed some very expensive treatment. And uh, I didn't know this at the time. But I was looking to buy a Harley. I knew I had to sell my caddy because I was moving to Wisconsin and the snow wasn't gonna be good, <laughs> right? And the salt and et cetera for the caddy. So I knew hanging on to that car was a mistake. As much as I didn't wanna sell it, I knew it was the right thing to do and I did. But I told myself, well, if I'm gonna let the caddy go, I need another bike, I need to ride, I need to get in the wind. And uh, I started looking around and I found a uh, FXR, the one that's in the garage right now. Talked to the gentleman, we went back and forth. He was asking $18,000 for it, which was a lot of money for an FXR. But when you look up FXR Nightmare, Hot Bike Magazine article, FXR Nightmare from 2014, 15, something like that, you'll see that bike. I think all you got to do is Google FXR Nightmare and it'll pop right up. And the gentleman that built that bike that's his baby, right? He sold that Harley to pay for the cancer treatments for his dog. And I told him, I got two pities and I'm moving to Wisconsin to start a pit bull sanctuary. And tears, right? We were just like, fuck, you can't make this up. And I told him back then, I said, look, man, if things ever change for you and you want your bike back, I will sell it back to you for what you sold it to me for. And he ended up selling it to me for 16.5 instead of 18. And he took that money off himself and said, hey, man, I'm just going to... And uh, I was very grateful. And that bike drug it all the way here from Cali. It's been sitting in the garage. The weather's just starting to get a little better. And I was starting to get the itch to go for a ride. And he just reached out. Said his dog's doing good. And uh, he's got the money. And he'd like to buy his bike back. I told him, you bet. You can't make it up, man. I don't need a fucking Harley. I need a quad, right? I need something that I can ride on the property, not on the freeway, right? My environment is not good for a Harley. I get very little use out of a Harley up here. And fuck, I'm 60 years old, man. My days of fucking bombing around on a Harley at 120 miles an hour are long over. with a quad and a tractor and a whatever backhoe, like I said about my silver stack, that's what I need for the property for my sanctuary, right? So the Harley goes back to the builder and Johnny will get some equipment for the property. <laughs> Telling you, man, you just can't make it up. <sighs> Everything happens for a reason. And this is all part of the story. I'm so stoked for him. His doggy's doing good. Beat the cancer. I don't know what else to say. Mi vida loca. Orale. All right, you guys. Have a beautiful day. We'll talk soon.